I don't see any beauty in this. Why do you think these are placed in the marine drive for... Oh, hi! You're already here. Welcome to Scientific Lockdown. We will provide the answer to the centrifugal force puzzle posted on last Thursday. In the question segment, we saw that the red balls and two cylinders were behaving completely different from each other. Did you solve the puzzle all by yourself? Don't worry if you could not. We have an in-house expert. Let's welcome the Inquisitor. Hi. Hi, you know my name. Let's get straight into this puzzle of Jumas. On closer observation of our question video, I noticed that the second cylinder is filled with water and the first cylinder is empty, or rather I'd say it's full of air. I have made some modifications of my own to the second cylinder, which is replacing 30 ml of its water with oil. That means that in the first cylinder, the plastic balls are heavier than the other element present, which is air. And in the second cylinder, the plastic balls are lighter than the other element present, which is water. And with my modification, which is oil, is also lighter than the other two elements. These are the facts, but how do we arrive at the conclusions from them? For this, we will have to understand centrifugal force a little better. To assure you that we did not change the playback speed of this video, we have a metronome in front of you for your reference. We also have two different masses, one a lighter plastic mass and one a heavier metal mass attached to an elastic string of equal length. I will try to rotate them by keeping the rotational axis over the stick. Notice that when unstretched, this lighter mass is about 5 cm away from this metal bell. When I try to rotate it at a comfortable speed, the distance decreases. We can measure the centrifugal force experienced by a mass by measuring how much it stretches this elastic. With this lighter mass, we could not hit the metal bell. With this heavier mass, at about the same rotational speed, let's see what happens. See, it struck the bell. That means that heavier masses experience a more centrifugal force. This implies that centrifugal force increases with increase in mass. It also increases with radius and rotational speed, but those parameters we will discuss some other time. Now that we know that heavier objects experience more centrifugal force, we can say that denser material will be thrown outwards with a higher force as compared to the lighter ones. That's quite a long statement to comprehend. Let us take a more intuitive approach. Under the influence of gravity, the denser material, which is water, is at the bottom and the lighter material, oil, is at the top. Can you imagine what will happen if similar forces exist at both ends of the cylinder? You will see that the denser material, water, is at the ends of the cylinder and the lighter material, oil, accumulates near the rotational axis. Since the density of plastic balls is less than that of water, water will be thrown outwards with a higher force as compared to the plastic balls and it would appear that the balls are coming close together. Was that under a minute? Okay. So we can conclude that Juma is nothing but a muggle. Just like the last time, the answers were hidden in the right questions. All you need to do is question everything. That was the explanation I was hoping for. Why doesn't he ever give us a daily life example in which I'll use the concept? When your car takes a fast turn, you sway from your position to the opposite direction of the turn. This happens because you experience centrifugal force. Okay, I've been there, done that. Okay, now it's the time to mention the most interesting explanation from the comment section. Okay, Rajesh Dhut says, that in the first case, the balls were in their own mind because they got no one to stop them. In the second case, there was a liquid to stop their free movement. Hence, they united to fight with the liquid. And also, we received a weird question this time. Okay. Arnab Pal from Kolkata has asked, How many stories should my building have so that it doesn't rain on my rooftop? Can you help him to find this answer? 
If you want to see more such videos, then subscribe to our channel and share this video among your friends. Do you have any weird questions? Send them to us at scientificlockdown at gmail.com and follow us on social media. Thank you.